Hey, it's Mimi from HeyMimi.com and I'm doing a follow-up video to my high-tech pet electronic dog door video where I mentioned that there's a way to modify these expensive batteries um, which are between six and twelve dollars depending on the quantity that you get. I didn't find it on the price unbearable until I got a second dog. There was a guy who wrote a review on, on Amazon that said that he was able to hack these batteries and use a regular CR2430 battery and take this apart and use a part of it to make these work. Now these are six for thirty-six dollars or more and these were ten for ten ninety-nine on Amazon. There is a guy named uh, called DJ's Life who made a video about it and that was very helpful to me. I'll link that here but I just thought I could do a better visual showing how it's done so you really couldn't see what he was doing all that well. So I'm just kind of doing this video as a follow-up to his I guess. So I hope he doesn't mind. I saved my old batteries and I used a um, kind of a wide flat exacto knife and I used a little wooden stick like an orange stick to burnish it down. Um, you're going to take your old battery out and then you're going to take this little sticker off of here and here's what it looks like. I have an older one. The older one came apart a little bit easier but let me show you how this is done. There's like a little jacket around here that's making, that's changing the polarity. The front, it's making the back side the positive side. And I found that the key is to um, try very hard not to bend bend this little disc because you want it when you put it on the new battery you want these to all to be as flat as possible so that it's making contact with the new battery. So you're going to come like this. There's a little spot on each one of these little arms that's soldered and you just want to break that little connection point and then it'll pop off like that. It's to the other side. You can come like this or you can come from inside out. So you're just going to slide your little flat tool under here kind of break that connection. This one has two of them. Okay, so then you've got the battery and you can see that it has this little donut kind of super flat disc and it's lined with this white plastic sticker. So I kept the sticker on. I also did one where I just uh, left, I didn't use the sticker and it worked as well. So now here's, this is kind of a tricky part. You want to take your little flat, you can get these probably at Walmart or anything, your flat exacto exact blade. And you want to slide the blade underneath, might help to do this under a uh, magnifying glass, but you want to slide it, it's kind of hard to get it on video and do a good job. You want to slide it underneath the white, the white sticker and the first one I did, I didn't use an X-Acto knife and it got really bent up. So the purpose of doing it this way is to try to, is to try to keep this as flat as possible. The first, so there you go. Then you're just going to pull that off. Why don't you slide that? There. Okay, then you're going to take your battery, Put the positive side down just like it was before, the words showing through this side. Push it down there and then bring these around here. And then I use this tool. I just feel like it won't scratch as much. If you do electronic soldering, your probably best bet is to just do a little solder right there to hold it down but if you don't know how to solder that's why that's where the tape comes in I think that's why DJ used these because he didn't use tape um, because really it's the exact same width and size as it was with this sticker so I think he was using these to add pressure to keep these contact points down but instead what I did somebody in the comments on DJ's video said he, they used a piece of scotch tape I punched a little 7 eighths a circle out of the Sureline tape. Any of them have worked. Then you can put this down here. And then just use this to really burnish it down. And all this is doing is holding those contacts in place. And then it's ready to go. Now in this one, 
they go in differently on these two. The MS4, all the electronics are on the top, and so the positive side is going to face down. And as you can see, I don't. This is where uh, he put these little these little washers in here. I didn't find that to be necessary, because I guess because I used the tape. This one I used the metallic tape. And you just push that in there, and close it up. You just treat it like the normal batteries. Close that up, and you can either push the button to see if it's working, and a little light will come on here, or you can hold it to your ear, and if you hear a little buzzing sound, then you know it's working. On the MS5, the, pause, the sticker is going to be facing up, and uh, and you can see it's working. I thought it wasn't working. That's why I made so many of, the, many of these. I was thinking, what in the world am I doing wrong? How can it be showing that it's working? It's lighting up. I can hear the little buzzing going on. Why isn't it working? And I realized that on the unit, on the door, make sure if you haven't used it in a while that you push those in and out sent lights on so that they're lit up. That was the problem. I had it turned on, but I, but I did not have the in and out sensor buttons turned on on the thing and that was the problem so thank you so much to the guy who wrote that original review and thank you to dj's life for making a video showing how to do it it's really going to save you a lot of money thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to hey mimi diy